What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be playing Life is Strange True Colors. Uh, this is a game that I, I played the first one, but that's all I played, but I heard this one is pretty cool. This was going to be pretty interesting gameplay for you guys, so make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, comment down the, comment down the videos before or below if you enjoy my videos. And uh, yeah, this, this game is going to be pretty fun, so I'm definitely going to enjoy it, so here we go, we're about to start. As, as always, I make sure my audio is good so you guys can hear me pretty well. Oh, just, and, uh, for the record, if you guys hear me sneeze, then, you know, have an allergy season, you know what I mean? So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Oh, so this takes place in Colorado. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people. Maybe. Does your brother know about your issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. All right, this is looking forward for this one because this looks like it's going to be pretty cool, pretty uh, complicated moments. This is going to be pretty strange because on the first one, I think I just uh, I played. I forgot the girl's name, but uh, pretty much she get to like go back in time and you know try to fix all her mistakes and everything. So it's more like a like a time travel situation on the first game of Life is Strange. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. All right, so. The game looks absolutely amazing, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh, what's 
a protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years. I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? Hold on, guys. <laughs> my controller was uh, vibrating. Let me uh, let's see where I go. Okay, turn the vibration off. There you go. Yeah, that vibration was crazy. <laughs> you guys, if, if you guys, uh, it's just so good to see you. You guys yeah. wouldn't know because my control was shaking like crazy just Leave now. It. She's all grown up, and I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Wait, did she just uh, read his mind? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. I think she has the power <laughs> to read people's yeah. minds. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so <laughs> glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. Everybody's hugging in this uh, part of town. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey Gabe. Riley, meet my sister Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like I work too hard or I saved too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I'm gonna be clever. I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Oh, you hear that, Gabe? You're outnumbered. I'll never surrender. <laughs> He'll come around eventually. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that. Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? Uh, let me pick. If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, if Mac I thought that was pretty, flowers, you know, half as often. Good choice. Well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. She looks like Tinkerbell from Disney. And he's. It did a good job with this, uh, with the design and the game and the um setting. How to kill everything like, you touch. Um, a flower book by Alex Chen. Yeah, I like how um everything is set up. And the animation looks incredible. Yeah, let's take a look around before we leave. This gnome has been places. You look like you've been to Hawaii with that outfit. The tiny house movement is really taking off. Perfect. <laughs> now he's a surfer. The gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh God! Please stop. No problem. <laughs> Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Oof. Yeah. Looks like... Are those your uh, grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Oh, so, so they used to own this place, the grandparents. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Let's take a look back here. Oh, okay, nothing back here. Okay, it looks like that's uh, just about it. It's everything we looked everywhere. Oh. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. Wow. Good to know. Okay, siren sounds. Well, here we are. Wow. Just wow. Uh, I'm going to be doing this the whole yoga. game. So I'm gonna, yoga. With the you guys, I'm going to be looking around. Welcome to Colorado. Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. 
Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I'd rather shoot fire from my hand, burn all my enemies to a crisp. What if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> if you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Aw, oh, man. I shouldn't have told you that. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. That was pretty cool. This, this comic looked amazing. I, I don't. If if I had like the time, I would have made my own comic book. But it'll be inspired by me though. But it takes like time and effort to do that. Like you have to have time and energy and have the time and patience to do like comic books like that. <clears throat> Now this Something looks like amazing. The shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. I don't know, zombie parade sounds more sounds more um Citizens 
of Haven Springs. That was Epic. Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's a cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> The National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, Palmer, the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. Be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. <laughs> Damn. I know I saw it before. look oh yeah any ideas on where to start no idea Steph leaves stuff all over the place ninth warden hero of the intergalactic peace wars and friend to lonely children everywhere yeah this I have all everything in here Hello, cat. Wait. Is that the hold list? Don't freak out. Just gonna. Okay, just kidding. Oh, shoot. Damn, kitty. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. Hey. Oh, take my, take my hand out. I'm detecting I an was playing. Okay. A uh, seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Eclectic oh. and obscure. I like it. How very small town. This cool, uh, I could spend uh, hours yeah. sitting here. Maybe I will. No record player. So, this 
This is Haven Springs. A tiny town so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry, with its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. real like I could wake up back in that group home any moment but I guess this is my home now walking Scott Street feeling like a stranger with an open heart open keep alive. Song, soothing song. That's why you can listen to this and just go to sleep at night. It's like music into your ears, just melting away. No listening for it. I enjoyed it. Gabe's record is in here. Which one is it? says touch and die is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more are you trying to die i wanted to see what would happen you're just lucky steps behind a soundproof wall hey luck or not i've officially cheated death it's been so long since i've played Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinets. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Okay, this is an old clarinet made in 1930. This clarinet has some history. Let's see what's over here. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. Okay, let's go help uh, Ryan. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I have no idea. 
I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Surprisingly not covered in stickers. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Not in there. A good place for toy safekeeping. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> Alas, no toy. Please have the toy. The suspense is killing me. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Nothing. Yeah. So Shots are meant for holding things, right? Check up there. What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? <laughs> At least that'd be ironic. No toy to be seen. Oh, there's like a bunch of toys out there. None of them is out there. Prime cat toy real estate. Maybe in the junk box. Huh. And we have a winner. Good guess. Oh, shit. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Who's the superior mammal now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, mission idea. accomplished. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Okay. Should have known. Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Damn. The legend only grows. All right, you're looking at 20. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? You but just, what's happening? No, 
Dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Hmm, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there. One sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Okay. Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, <laughs> by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. I don't know what kind of power she has, but it's like, I think she feels stuff. I'm not sure, but it's, it seems like every time she's like around or she feels like some kind of emotions, like just, she can feel people's emotions or something like that. I don't know. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Atta boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kinda wanna hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. The dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Ever? Okay, this is gonna be pretty hard. Should I tell Gabe? Or keep Ethan's secret? You good? Yeah, fine. Just thinking about you as the Hobbs to Ethan's Calvin. 
Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. Except you're, you know, dating his mom. <laughs> Clearly, you haven't read my Calvin and Hobbes fan fiction. Wow. What? What do you say we get you settled in? This is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen yeah. to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> He just about wet himself, waiting for you to get here. <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah, so just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you really said nice. that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. Gabe, I, thank you. 
You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. A jet will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just, you look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? You haven't really changed. Really? You still look 15. Like, shut up. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you're like a man. That was a good one. But you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. Thanks. Which is good, because if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this? This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Hey, we're jamming today. <laughs> oh yeah, go get him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's so silly, bro. <laughs> Lifetime of practice. <laughs> Your turn. She's jamming, she's jamming. <laughs> Like they have the music too loud. Somebody's gonna tell me to turn it down. Just give me a sec. Yeah. Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Uh-oh. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Oh, shoot. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass uh, right now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you. No. Oh, hell no. Away from her! 
Alright guys, we're right back. Okay, I'm bad, guys. Oh, snap. That was crazy. Damn, she's throwing blows on the Alex, stop! Stop! Alex! Gabe. I didn't... It's okay. Damn, she, she, she messed him up. And, and for good reason, he deserved it. Yeah, you shouldn't mess with him like that. Got his ass knocked out. This is just fucking psycho. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Man, she got his blood on her finger. Both fingers, man. Fuck. But yeah, yeah. He, he deserved that. Why are you gonna just walk in people's house like that? And just be on somebody. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. Oh, now we know where her power is. I'm okay. Seems like she could just feel people's emotions and whenever they act, she acts out on them too. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, this game looks like it's gonna be pretty I wild. Guess I might as well unpack. 
Yeah, let's have a look around. Is that a sword? We didn't even get to finish the song. Oh, video game. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. <laughs> you got that. It was like one of those uh, kitty games. You know, you play back in the day on Nintendo. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. <laughs> yeah, he made him turn out real good. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Huh. They've really changed the art style since I read these. No, that's that's a rip up of Jason. And they got Jason, that my boy Jason in the game. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. <laughs> no way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Oh, okay. You can change clothes. We'll keep this on for now. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Okay. How did he get this up here? Gabe looks like he fits right in. Let's play this game. Oh, 
Oh wow, this is pretty cool. Oops. Oh. That was three of them. Oh, shoot. I'm going to try again. There are two lives left. Oh, no. Okay, I got one more life left. Okay, we did it. Oh, oh no. Okay, this is my last one. Hopefully, uh, I'm probably not going to make it to the third one. for that oh shoot no oh, huh, game over and that was fun and where's a better uh better on back Oh God, Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. We've seen things, haven't we, Shoo Shoo? Ethan's really talented. Okay, this uh this comic book strip is neat. He got he got some skills. Definitely got some talent. If it was colored then um it would have been neat too. Yeah, this kid got some potential. I never Medical heard back letter. from Sydney. I hope she's okay. 
At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I really wish those mitts had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Wait, she was in the group home? Oh yeah, well, she did say her parents, well, her dad was kind of an asshole, so maybe something happened in the family mess. that uh, got her sent to the um, group home. Something happened in her past. Maybe, uh, yeah, her brother was, you know, here, so maybe she had problems at home. Yes, I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Oh, let me uh, unpack still. Crazy how much we've changed. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. Oh, that's pretty cool. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Okay, so it was like a text message. Okay, some text messages and everything. Ugh. I'll finish this later. Okay, and the guitar, okay. She gonna play it? It's her guitar. just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here, 
here before Could look you in the eye Dress like an angel Skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep makes you happy whatever you want she's a good singer her voice is awesome very special god i wish i was special but i'm a creep i'm a weirdo what the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. Healing your damn surprises, Gabe. Bravo, that's, that was good uh, talent right there. She can play and sing. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not going to let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. All right, let's go downstairs. Just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Rising. For sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Max's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, 
But he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. This place, this place is all right. You got everything. So I'm short staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now. And we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. My dad was in the service. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that- uh, That we all knew you were coming, yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from <laughs> D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? <laughs> Let's go with uh, Bizarre. I've been here one day, and I've already hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Cheeseburger One cheeseburger with mushrooms. with mushrooms. Uh huh. And? One pie okay. special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with him. He might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Typhon's not a bad company, once you get used to how they operate. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Right. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. <laughs> Wow, they actually pay you. I got rid Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. Sure, I, I know. Still want to skip the trails later this week? Are you kidding? This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Okay, so I'm thinking it's on the couch. Is that just a hole? Guess these were for mining. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. Is there anything this woman can't do? Unusually personable staff? Nicely done, big bro. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. 19 lives? Jed is a real hero. Interesting. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. <laughs> G-A-B. That's gotta be Gabe, right? Okay, what's, uh... This game all about. too fast.
Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. It's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me! Oh, no. You're not gonna okay. lie. Um, <laughs> no, oh, no, not exactly buddy. No, punched, no, but no. He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Uh-uh, I'm not gonna lie for him. Uh. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? No, I mean, Mac barged he, in. He started Accused it. Gabe of sleeping with you. Sucker punched him. And then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, 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 shoot. I was about to say. No, like, I'm only oh, no. I was def no, no, defending my brother here. Right? Gabe and I just like to prank each uh, other. Uh-uh, don't play with me like that. <laughs> I've <laughs> never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? 
Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. Anyway, let's look for that beer. I think I think the couch is up. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's upstairs. It's, it's got to be upstairs. <clears throat> Boy, that cop got me, man. I thought he was going to arrest me because I didn't do nothing wrong. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Huh, I think that's it. it says on the couch, so ha. <laughs> I found it. I knew looking at, at that picture, I knew that that whiskey was going to be on the couch. I'm a good detective. Found this upstairs in Gabe's couch. Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Glad you could fill in today. It was tough snow too. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh, no, I'm good. Thanks, though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. 
Have you heard about Jed's rescue? I saw some stuff on the walls. People here still talk about it. The tourism board wanted to I make a movie. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. <laughs> He's so modest, it's ridiculous. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Uh, nah. No thanks. <laughs> that shot looks a little too dazzling for me. Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Actually, not yet. My dad was in the service. Hey, Alex. Ready for that? Nah. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. I guess I'm done for today. Are you done now? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. See what Gabe wants. Sorry, <laughs> I was looking at my phone. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I...
Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. But then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. He's in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe. What can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Tell him about your past. Tell him about your power. Should I tell him? Let's not, I would say, but let's, let's, let's try to, you know, take it a little easy. So let's talk about the past. Growing up in the system was hell. In my first foster home, an older boy followed me into the bathroom. So I pushed him out. He got angry. So did I. Then I broke his nose. I was 14. In the second home, one of the other kids committed suicide. And I couldn't eat for a month. After a couple of weeks in the fifth home, I got so depressed that my new parents sent me to a hospital. I never saw him again. The hurt follows me everywhere. It's the other kids get adopted, leave the system. Not me. They never picked me. I'm broken. Do you really believe that? Wouldn't you? After all this time, it's hard not to take it personally. And it just keeps happening. It never stops. Then I look at you. You've got a home, a job, a girlfriend. Got it all figured out. And I don't.
Is that for me? It is now. <laughs> what is this? A reminder. Looks like a match to me. That was the last matchbook I got when I was still in juvie. Did some pretty unsavory stuff to score it. And you still have it? Yeah. I carry it with me everywhere. When I got out, I went through the last few matches real quick. Obviously, but... I, I could never bring myself to use the last one. It reminded me how bad life got. And how much better I was going to make it. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. So this cool present you gave me. When I found Haven and Charlotte, I couldn't believe they were real. Everything before was such hell. Now it's different. You can do the same. Start a new life. You made it out of the system, Alex. You survived. It's time to move on. Maybe you're right. I came to Haven, after all. Exactly. That's the first step. Don't forget. I'm here to help you. That's not gonna change. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. I'm doing a search.
Ethan! Come on, pick oh, up. Oh, never up. nothing happens to him. Alex. This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Should I be, I don't know, freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have... said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can... do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Okay, so actually I'm gonna leave this off here for tomorrow, so make sure you guys uh, hit that like, share, subscribe. And we're gonna continue on with this, uh, with this gameplay. And I hope you guys have a good weekend and take care.